In this video, we'll explore the cutting-edge technology behind these engines and how they're set to transform the face of modern warfare. From increased fuel efficiency to unparalleled thrust, discover the advantages of the hybrid destroy jet engine and what it means for the future of military aircraft. Aircraft release a continuous stream of nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere while they are traveling, and these chemicals have the ability to linger and create ozone and fine particles. One of the main causes of air pollution, nitrogen oxides, or NOx, have been linked to cardiovascular, respiratory, and asthmatic conditions. According to earlier studies, 16,000 premature fatalities annually are caused by the toxins that are produced as a result of international aviation. MIT engineers have now developed an airplane propulsion idea that they believe would cut aviation's NOx emissions by 95%, and, as a result, the number of premature fatalities linked to aviation by 92%. The idea was influenced by the emissions control technologies seen in cars used for ground transportation. In order to lower the NOx produced by engines, post-combustion emissions control devices are now found in a large number of heavy-duty diesel trucks. With an electric twist, the researchers now suggest a similar idea for flight. Jet engines mounted beneath each wing power modern aircraft. The exhaust from the turbine exits the back of each engine which powers a propeller to propel the aircraft through the air. It has not been viable to deploy emissions control systems because of this arrangement, because they would interfere with the engine's ability to produce thrust. A normal gas turbine would still be used as the plane's power source in the proposed hybrid electric or turboelectric design, but it would be integrated within the cargo hold. Instead of directly powering the fans or propellers, the gas turbine would generate energy in the hold through a generator, which would then power the fans or propellers located on the wings of the aircraft. The gas turbine's emissions would be channeled into an emissions control system, which would clean the exhaust before releasing it into the atmosphere. This system would essentially be similar to those used in diesel vehicles. There aren't any basic physics restrictions. But this would still be a very difficult technical task. Instead, an electric generator that gets its power from the gas turbine would power the propellers or fans directly. The gas turbine's exhaust would feed into an emissions control system that could be folded up in the cargo hold of the aircraft like an accordion, keeping it totally separated from the propellers that generate propulsion. Barrett claims that this is far more practical than what has been suggested for all electric aircraft. Instead of installing several tons of batteries, which would add a significant amount of additional weight to an aircraft, this concept would contribute only a few hundred kilograms. The hybrid electric architecture would eliminate 95% of NOx emissions, according to the researchers' calculations of the emissions that a big aircraft would emit, with and without, an emissions control system. They also predict that 92% of aviation-related pollution-related deaths might be prevented if this method were implemented for all planes worldwide. They estimated how much different communities across the world would be exposed to these pollutants by mapping the flow of aviation emissions through the atmosphere using a global model. The number of persons who would perish as a result of being exposed to aircraft pollutants was then estimated using these exposures to create mortalities. The team is now working on designs for a zero-impact airplane that flies without emitting NOx and other chemicals like climate-altering carbon dioxide. We need to get to essentially zero net climate impacts and zero deaths from air pollution. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the future of military aviation. The hybrid destroy jet engine is a game changer, and we're excited to see how it will shape the skies of tomorrow.